what I'm now going to show you are the steps involved in drilling out um, the wood so that we can add our screw. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pilot hole. This is a 2.5 millimeter screw. I'll start that again. Okay, what I'm now going to show you is how we're going to drill our hole uh, for the screw. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a 2.5 millimeter drill placed in, in this case, it's an electric drill. Um, this here shows the point where we're going to drill the hole. And we're going to place the work into the vise. Um, I placed it into the vise so that when I drill it, I'm going to drill down at 90 degrees here. You'll also notice that if I put the drill against the wood, you can see that the drill will go all the way into the wood, but it won't come out on this opposite side here. So I don't have to worry about how far I'm drilling. So I place the wood into the vise. I'm going to get my drill. And I've just drilled my pilot hole. You'll notice that the power was on when I was going down and I keep the power on whilst I'm coming up. It's quite a thin drill so we need to do that quite carefully otherwise we're going to snap the drill. The next thing I'm going to use is this special drill and this special drill performs two functions. If you look at the shape you'll notice that the first part here is going to use uh, is used to create a clearance hole and this second part here creates a countersink. Um, so it just two things in one and it just makes things a little bit quicker. So I've got my special drill in, place it into the hole. There we go. The nice thing about this drill bit is that there's a collar here and that collar will stop the drill when it gets to a certain depth. We're now ready to get our screw and then we can screw the two things together.